Alright guys, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, heart rate monitor sensor that I showed in the last post bag video. Um, this is basically as bare bones as it gets. As far as I can tell, it's just an infrared LED uh, and a infrared um, photodiode. And the output of the sensor is just directly off the photodiode. And um, I haven't actually been able to find any information about these on YouTube, um, but the eBay listing for it did actually come with some code, which it seems like it had been reformatted by some sort of a, you know, a spell check or something like that. So it had to be fixed, but um, I'll be running that code, uh, which doesn't work that well, and also uh, just kind of showing you what the raw output looks like. Um, and because, spoilers, it doesn't work that well, I wanted to just kind of uh, talk about a couple of considerations for what to do to make it work better in the future. Alright, so with that, let us let me uh, show the Arduino code here. And uh, this first one, I'm just going to be do using the, uh, just reading the off the analog and printing it to serial so you can kind of see what's happening on the input and we'll use the serial plotter in order to graph that. So here's the code we'll be using. We're just basically reading from analog zero uh, and we're printing that out to the serial. Um, extremely simple. And um, I have that already loaded on the board and basically we'll just use the serial plotter here um, and you can kind of see it's sitting there uh, reading information quite quickly. So when I put my finger in here, uh, we're going to need to debounce that a little bit. I'm just going to add in a, uh, a delay. Upload that a second. Alright, so now when I put my finger in, it goes way up. Huh, I wonder if that's the LED light, because it didn't do that before. Maybe it's this light. Alright, well I'm going to have to leave that light off, that's uh, giving me a bad signal, but... You can kind of see it's going up and down there, but there's so much noise in the signal, it's basically impossible to, to, to determine what is signal and what is noise. Also we're right on the ragged edge of what this thing can do. Remove the delay with the um, or lessen it now that we have that high frequency noise component removed. So you can see there's just a ton of noise on this signal and we're not really going to be able to to expect really clean results. So that's that's what we're seeing on the analog and if I switch over here to the um, um, the code that came with it basically they're doing the same sort of thing they're reading in the analog sensor um, and they're basically just using some heuristics to see if it if it ha had a really high rate um, if it was increasing very quickly over over a short period of time. I'm not 100% sure what this uh, code is doing, but basically, if they think they've detected a heartbeat, which I think is a you know pretty high, a steep um, incline, then they write out to digital pin 13, which we'll be able to see on the board uh, over here. So um, what I'm going to do is center this up, try to zoom it in a little bit, and uh, I'll put the coda on there. Alright, so the code is on here now, and you should be able to see that sort of blinking.
but it's not really blinking when my heart's going, it's sort of blinking randomly. So that's what I'm able to get out of these sensors without any extra circuitry. I'd be interested to see what you could do by putting a capacitor um, to kind of filter out some of that DC uh, stuff and uh, potentially using some sort of an op amp or something to boost the signal. Because uh, I don't think in this state that they're actually usable. However, the price is impressive. Um, I bought two of these for 99 cents with free shipping. So you really can't beat that price, so if there's a way to make this work, um, it could be an extremely cheap way of getting a heart rate monitor into a project. Although I think you can see at this stage it's not really producing useful data. Alright, well this is a short one today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in videos like this, and uh, likes and shares really help. So thanks very much. Bye.